good corporate governance means not bringing family into it. But you had a partner who is equally ambitious, who had her own aspirations. In fact, I want to understand from you the day when you told Mr. Murthy that you should be part of Infosys as well, because you were part of the story from the very start. You provided the seed capital. You, in fact, provided the very differentiating idea that Infosys should vo focus on the export market as opposed to the domestic market. And when you finally thought that this was an opportunity for you to be part of the company, he said no. And, and that wasn't an easy one for you to accept. No, but one more important thing, she was as qualified in mm, most ways, exactly. more qualified than all the six or seven of us. That is also very important. Not that she was not qualified. Exactly. So therefore that's very important, yeah. So why did you say no then? No, again, you know, I had this uh, feeling that good corporate governance means not bringing family into it. Because those days, it was only family rule, all kinds of children used to come and uh, run the company. There used to be a violation of all laws. But later on, Shirin, I must tell you this, a few years ago, I had a long discussion with a couple of professors of philosophy mm. from uh, two extremely well-known universities in the world. And they said I was wrong. You know, they said, Mr. Muthi, you are wrong because as long as the other party has the merit, whether it's your wife, your son, your yes. daughter, as long as that person has the merit, as long as they go through the normal procedure, you have no right to prevent that person mm. from being part of the thing because you are then taking away some of your right. That's why, I don't know if you remember, yeah. when we had the discussion, yeah. I openly said I was wrong. Now I don't believe this. I think what I was doing those days was wrong. I was uh, wrongly idealistic. Mm. And in some way, I think I was influenced a lot by the environment of those days. Mm. That so you paid the price for his idealism in a sense. I know you accepted the decision, but I don't believe you still agreed with it. So I said, no, Murthy is hell-bent upon that. I should not come. Then he said, you join and I will drop. So, you know, suppose I joined, I would have also worked very hard. But go, you know, in the, the license Raj. That time we had to sit in Delhi, we had to sit in Washington. See, with two children, how will I sit there for three months, six months? It was practically not possible, right? Though if it's an office, I can work day and night. But going and sitting in Delhi, he says, okay. And knowing Murthy, suppose he takes a decision, right or wrong, he will, he will stick to that. That I knew. That I knew. Once he takes that, then he will, he has to, it has to be done. Now, I can say, okay, I will join. Then he will leave and he will not come. And it will affect Infosys. Now, I have what choice I have. Well, when I should take up a job and Murthy will be at home or he will take some other job. Infosys, his dream or probably India's dream at that moment yeah. will not come up. Now, if I don't take job, only I will be hurt. But it is good for the family, good for the children. It is good for the company and good for Murthy. So when there are four good and one negative and negative is about me and I will manage it. So you eventually decided to step back, accept the decision of not being a part of it. That is, uh, that is what uh, Brain said, but Har did not accept it. Har said, no, I have to work because I love technology. I used to love technology. And your own company, you can work hard. You can see the joy is different, you know. It is not money. The joy of working with your colleagues, making a product or service or whatever, it is something very nice. Mm. And I always enjoyed that in Telco. And that I have to give up. For everything, there's a price. Now that you acknowledge the fact that you were wrong about uh, someone with merit who happened to be a family member coming back or being a part of Infosys, today, I mean, if, if your second child were to say that I want to be part of Infosys, what would you say? If Rohan were to say he wants to be no, part he's of Infosys. Uh, he's, he's, I think he's even stricter than I am in these uh, ideas. 
We will never say that. Never. Never. Uh, first of all, that. I am just a shareholder of Infosys. Yeah. I, have, I have not been consulted on any issue in Infosys in the last since August 4th or 5th, 2017, when Nandan took over. Mm. Not once. It's the right thing. I mean, he, he's doing it the way we all did. Mm. Okay. So, apart from being the largest uh, family shareholders of Infosys, we have nothing else to do with Infosys. That's the reality.